What's up guys, it's Strigo. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about three red flags you need to be looking out for when working with your next client. Let's get right into it. Number one, they want a discount right from the beginning. This is a first time client, you have never worked with them before. They're calling you, they're asking you for a discount right off the jump. These are the kind of clients I always avoid. These are the clients who are not going to value what you're doing and what you have to offer and they're going to be always the most demanding. I've learned this the hard way and I've learned this the easy way. The clients that tend to pay you more are, are easier to work with. The ones that are always asking for a discount are always more demanding. Now, when a client does call you asking for a discount right off the jump, what I normally do is tell them like, hey, this opportunity sounds really exciting, but we don't offer discounts for first time clients. I'd be more than happy to offer you a discount on our next project based on how this one go. How does that sound? This puts really the ball in their end of the court, but then also this allows you to figure out is this gonna be a good client for you to work with? Because if you might work with them and you realize like, hey, I might not wanna give them a discount. I might wanna actually charge them extra because they're so hard to work with. Number two, you start talking about the project and they have no clear goal or results for what they're expecting out the video. This right here is just leaving you open for all types of problems because how are you supposed to know what you're supposed to capture, what you're filming for without a purpose? Normally, I used to do this when I first started. You know, I talk to a business owner, they're like, hey, just shoot something cool, we don't care. And then the video tent normally doesn't perform as well because there's no purpose for it. Figure out what is a goal that they're trying to achieve? What are they looking to do in their business? Ask them, why are you trying to create a video now? These are all questions that will allow you to figure out what kind of video are you looking to shoot for them. If they're telling you that they're looking to, you know, maybe convert more clients coming to their website, maybe a testimonial talking about, you know, their previous patients coming in talking about how well they like, you know, their practice. Or maybe you're doing a sales video that kind of helps explain the services they have to offer. Um, so asking those kind of questions will allow you to have a clear goal and result for what they're trying to achieve. Number three, they were really bad communicators. And this could be anything from, you know, them calling you at really odd hours of the night or, you know, emailing you and, you know, asking for a quick reply and then not hearing from them for three days or so. You have to imagine yourself working with this client for the next four to six weeks. Do you really want to be in that kind of situation that a client emailing you revisions, you know, three days later and expecting them to, you know, for those changes right away? Save yourself the trouble. This is a bonus one. They talk bad about their last videographer. This is one of those key things that you need to look out for. It's one of those things, you know, if you're dating somebody and they just talk really poorly about their past relationships, you don't want to get dragged into that. You know what I mean? I think how they talk about their previous, you know, videographer says a lot about them. Normally, you know, when we start working with clients, we ask them, have you done video before? And they'd be like, yeah, I worked with a, you know, another company. And be like, oh, that's awesome. Can I see the work they produce for you? Um, why are you not working with them anymore? You want to find out these things. So they might tell you like, well, I liked working with that guy, but he took really long to deliver the files. And then the production value they were looking for just wasn't there. Great. Now when you can see that video that when they send that over to you, you'd be like, okay, I just need to step up my delivery time and I need to provide a better quality of production than what they got. And the other really great trick about asking that question, you can ask them, well, how much did you pay for them to produce something like that for you? And they'd be like, well, we paid a thousand bucks. So if I could deliver something for $2,000 for you at a faster rate and better production quality, would we, do we have a deal here? you know, just delivering that without stuttering, of course. But those are the things that allows you to start asking the clients for more money is when you start having more educated conversations with them. Forget about the video or the style of video that they're making. You wanna focus on the goal and then base your price around that. 